Following a recent string of burglaries at Lewis Hall, students are worried about their safety in the place they call home. With us today to talk about the burglaries and how students can stay safe is Captain James Anguiano of the KU Public Service Office. Thanks so much for joining us. Captain, um, it's noted that every person who was robbed was, uh, they actually went into the common room of the dorm, not the actual sleeping quarters. So first of all, how common is it for this many burglaries to take place in one night in the same place? It's very uncommon on our campus. When you sit there and look at the, the make of our campus with over 5,000 people in residence halls, and to have six uh, burglaries take place in one evening, that's, that's a big amount for us. Sure, and what hand has the PSO had in identifying the suspect, and where are you guys at with that? Uh, we're still in the current uh, investigation process. Uh, we have officers and investigators looking into several different leads. Uh, we've watched video from there. We've pulled uh, people that have um, came in during the time frame of the burglaries. Uh, with as many college students that were involved in this incident, it's uh, with their schedules, it's hard to track them down. So we're still trying to gather information from them, possible suspect descriptions. Sure, and based on the items that were stolen, if you don't mind explaining those, mm -hmm. um, what does this tell you about the suspect? Uh, what it tells us about the suspect or suspects is that this was a quick burglary into each room, that it was items that they probably could fit in a jacket or a pocket that, that somebody would not be able to see, such as cash. In one incident, there was somebody's prescription medication taken, and there were personal effects such as headphones and, and uh, sunglasses. So it was a uh, quick in and out uh, burglary. And what are some of the safety concerns associated with this kind of incident? Uh, some of the safety concerns is the, the time these incidents happen from midnight till seven in the morning. Uh, there were probably people sleeping in their sleeping quarters. Um, so there were people in the room. If they would confront one of these individuals and it wasn't one of our students, uh, there could have been a more serious effect. Or if they enter the room of a female student or even a male student, you know, other crimes could have occurred. Absolutely, and for the students that do live in dorms, what can they do to ensure that they don't fall victim to this sort of well, ordeal? If, if you live by yourself, uh, lock the door all times. And it's ar always hard when you walk, work, when you live with a group of people, it's hard because you always have, have to count on somebody else to lock the door. Mm -hmm. And that's something to talk to your uh, housemates with is to make sure that door is always locked, whether you're going down the hall to, to talk to somebody else, whether you're going to the main TV quarter to watch uh, TV or play video games, you know, to make sure somebody is always making sure that door is locked and always double checking it. Absolutely, and with 20,000 students at KU, how can they trust that they're safe? Uh, they can also keep assured that, again, this happened in one evening and we haven't had any other aggravated burglary since then but also to call in anything suspicious and to make sure to lock your door, but also be, a, be cognizant of who comes in the dorm when you swipe your card to get in. That's also, you know, there's a lot of times people just come in in a group and you may not know that person, but if you see something, to call us. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being with us today.